Here's uh, Dave Wilbur, Pete Bancroft, Charlie King, Bill Larson, and Svoboda. I don't know how these four guys uh, got in here <laughs> because security was really bad with me and here I am. The specimen is so perfect, there isn't even a flea bite on the specimen, let alone a Wilbur. It's the greatest thing I ever saw in my life. Good, yeah. Thank you. How many times have you been in jail? <laughs> it was fundamentally large rhombic crystals of azurite, literally to bread loaf size. Absolutely filled with diamond matrixes, with Termaline. But in the 70s, what I saw for the first time is that people were part-time innovators. I feel that there's still a lot of these localities left on our earth here that could keep us busy for another 100 years or so. I got a phone call in the middle of the night from uh, Jerry Rousseau. And, bull, bull, I got the best one. The best one what? The red one, Redocrosite. Oh, that's right. Superstatites, and Alamosites, and Leadhillites, and Reinerites, and Rainierites, and Germanites. That was Charlie's <laughs> infomercial. <laughs> Never in the history of mineralogy did we have so many minerals available to choose from. But when you hold a beautiful crystal in your hand, that does something for the heart. Yeah. Who else besides Charlie has been in jail for what they do? <laughs> there are several properties I know in Brazil that. Uh, I think have great possibilities that have been overlooked. There has just simply never been a place like Sumed in history, and I'm sure there will never be one of those again. The Benedite Neptunite property in California, I feel that there can be some very, very fine specimens still available. Mineral specimens are magnificent, beautiful, natural crystals that come out of the ground that were not cut or polished, found basically as is. And the uh, famous rock courier where we screwed the uh, uh, morganite back in the terminal. <laughs> so for me, what made the seven...